person who's homeless by cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud on my life. I also experienced a little bit of police brutality, but that's another story from another time. In homelessness, we have to live frugally, and we have to live sometimes on another man's dime. And what I mean by that is that there are people in poverty that are often solicited by people of wealth, influence, or simply affluence. The challenge that most of us have is that we have goals for our day and goals for our life. And when we have those goals, we know precisely what we need. There are many people who will come up to me and ask me if I'd like to buy something from the Dollar Tree after I've already been inside. And they sort of know that. So it's sort of a misnomer that they're trying to help me, but at the same time, they're already aware by the bags in my hands or the uh, marvelous things in my hair that I am a shopper there. Now, I may be silly with my rhymes, but that's okay. It's your time. But what I'm saying to you is that in life, when you're trying to help someone like me, who's a traveler, who doesn't have much in the way of property, who doesn't have a lot to carry like me, uh, it's more important that you provide them with a little bit of cash or actually a gift card from a store like the Dollar Tree in which they can go in and live literally in humility. Now what that means is that no one knows their challenge, no one knows their situation, no one knows that they may live in the streets, but some people do. But our retail employees are still responsible for treating every single customer, regardless of whether they're, they're nice or kind, with dignity and regard. It is not an immoral thing to say that these employee trainings are important for you and your day as well as you and your crew. You see, a foul-mouthed employee who's arriving to work early can make a major mistake and pro provide your company serious risk management issues of the day. A risk management is when an employee is not in their shirt but technically and factually on their way to work and they make a mouth off remark to someone and they start threatening them and harassing them and openly the only way that person met them was through your job and your company. Therefore we already have a potential of a lawsuit not only for the personal expenditure that that person is make to harassing a person like me but also on your company for the fact that the only way that man would have ever seen that person was because they were walking within a block of your shop on the way to work.